Uh, hi friends welcome back so today we are going to discuss a new circuit and that is keyboard controlled robot so in this what we are going to do we are going to use our computer keyboard uh, we will use some numbers maybe one two three four or you can use letters like asdf anything and we are going to control two dc motors by using the serial communication so first of all let us pick the Arduino board. We take it and then we are going to take two motors. We take one and two. For both of them, we are going to connect the negative to the ground and this one also to the ground. Then we attach one motor to pin number 13 and another motor to pin number 12 you can choose any pins of your choice now let us come to the coding part so coding part first of all what we have to see is that where is the provision for serial communication here i have in the output that is print on serial monitor anything that I want to print okay then I will go to the inputs and here you have read from serial okay next so what is the logic that we are going to work with we will say okay whenever you enter anything on this serial monitor open the serial monitor and I say write one and then I will click on send whatever I write here from my keyboard the sky value of that I am going to read so I need to store it somewhere right so I need the variable so I create a variable I can call it in okay and then we say set the input to read and then very simple thing that first we have to do is just print the value that we are reading that's all so we are not going to do anything but first of all we are going to check if I am entering anything on my keyboard if I am typing 1 2 a b c d what is the output here okay so we start the simulation okay so the simulation is running and it is printing minus one so now i go to my keyboard and i press one and send and it printed 49 now i press two and send it printed 50 this time i am typing a and send and it is 97 so basically these are the values okay so i stop it and now I know that the sky value for 1 is 49, B, uh, sorry, for 2 it is 50, for 3 it will be 51, for 4 it will be 52. Now the task is very easy. We just need to have one if statement. We'll say if and then we will compare. So you can compare, okay, uh, note this, we will take this one and uh, here will be our variable. If input value is equal to 49, what should we do? We will say set the digital pin, this motor, pin number 13. to high set pin number 12 also high and we'll put some delay here and if you want you can print something okay we can print on the serial monitor print on the serial monitor so let me remove these extra things print on serial monitor oh 
not this yes so we'll print we are going forward okay and then give a delay whatever amount of delay you want to give just remove any garbage code that you have okay done so now let us test only this much i start the simulation and then i press 1 and send and it is printing we are going forward and motors both of them are running clockwise with a positive rpm right so now the task is very easy i just need to copy this and say if it is 50 whatever action you want to perform with keyboard key number 2 okay i'll say both of them stopped so we will say we have stopped then let me just zoom it then i'll say if it is 51 so what i am going to do i'll run this motor stop this one so it will turn on the right side so we'll say taking a right turn and for 52 which is our key number 4 we will say this one is low this one is high and we'll say taking a left turn okay so that's the logic we have four keystrokes four motions and let us start the simulation now let us open the serial monitor so if i press one you don't need to click on this send you can just press enter also i press enter so it is saying we are going forward i press two and say we have stopped so the motors have stopped then i press three and we are taking a right turn i press four and we are taking a left turn you can add as many as possible features more complicated features anything that you wish to okay so now i am sure that you know that using the serial communication what can be done on one arduino board keep learning thank you